So I decided to purchase this four pack of Apple's new AirTags. So come along today as I unbox these and see what they're all about. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk with Troy where we really talk about everything having to do with tech. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping in today and checking out today's video. I would love to have you stick around as a subscriber, so please hit that subscribe button if you would and give it a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. For those that are returning subscribers, thank you very much once again for supporting my channel. I appreciate it very much. So as I mentioned in the opener, I decided to look into Apple's new AirTags. Now I haven't really been somebody who was that interested in this kind of technology yet. My son had asked for one of those tile devices, which you might be familiar with. It's another company that makes these devices that you can attach to your personal items like keys or backpacks or whatever, and be able to locate them if you lose those items or they get stolen. But when I read the difference between what tile how the Tiles technology works and the Apple AirTags work, it really seemed um, a lot better. So instead of just buying one, which is actually $29, I went ahead and bought the four pack. So you are getting a savings about $17 by doing that. So I just bought it right from the Apple store. So today I wanted to do an unboxing. It has not been opened yet and see what's inside the box, the four pack, and then see what it's like to actually connect these to your phone or to your to your devices that you want to um, track i did also go ahead and go on amazon and buy some cheap silicone um, holders for these devices so there's many things out there some of them are leather that are much more expensive all the way down to these cheap type silicone ones that you can get um, on amazon Amazon and I'll put the link down below if you are interested in this um, from Amazon So let's get to opening this up and see what's included in the box Okay, let's start with opening up the box and see what we have inside Okay, here we go. So, nice little, in Apple fashion, of course, their packaging is is very nice. Um, of course, you're going to get a little, you know, safety and handling pamphlet with um, other little tidbits you can read through if you'd like, that you might need a magnifying glass to read. And then here, as you open up the packet itself, you're going to see the four air tags that came in this four pack. So, as you can probably read the directions for yourself, number one, you need to update to the latest iOS. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. And then number two, you pull the tab when you're ready to use each one, and then you hold the device and follow the on-screen on -screen instructions. So each one of them, from reading um, online have individual like button type batteries inside that are changeable when the batteries get low, which is really cool. And we went ahead and, or I went ahead and had this engraved. Wow, this is really cool. You can get these engraved for no additional charge with whatever you want. So I put my last name there on the back of each one so super shiny I'm not sure if you could see that in the video clearly but very nicely done and attractive looking with the apple emblem on the top and then you've sort of got i don't know it's uh, whether it's some kind of a plastic underneath that holds probably all the electronics inside and the battery so once you take off this plastic wrapper, the last step is then to actually pull this tab out. And you heard that. Hopefully it made a noise 
where the battery is now engaged and my phone has actually found it which I can see sitting next to me so we'll do that in a minute and I'll walk you through how how we set those up so very neat in the packaging I think it's going to be extremely simple to actually pair to your phone so let's do that next so once you followed the directions and pulled the tab from the device to actually activate it and you get that little chirp that you heard then you can actually start pairing your device now it did immediately see it on my phone and I canceled out of it so we're gonna have to go into it manually so all you have to do is then go into the find my app and look for the third item on the bottom row that says items and you're going to hit add item so we need to add air tag and it says it's searching for the air tag and so then it did find the one that I've um, that I've removed the battery tab for just hit connect and for right now let's just leave it with backpack of course I'm sure you can change this later or you can customize it to be whatever you want to call it. Yes, down here at the bottom. We'll just call it backpack for now. Okay, and then you're going to register your AirTag to your Apple ID. So it's setting it up. And you get a little tone. And now it already knows and showing on the map where the air tag is how easy and cool is that it actually says it's with you so and then you can actually hit view and find my app as you can see there it shows exactly where it is on the map and if i want to i can play a sound in case it's in the house somewhere and you want it to kind of send off a signal to see if you can hear it awesome that was super easy so I mentioned that I purchased these inexpensive silicone holders on Amazon and like I said I'll put the description or the link down in the description and so let's just go ahead and put this one inside here to make it easy wow super attractive still I probably like it more centered with the Apple but I can fix that later so there you have it and then you can attach this to like you know a backpack set of keys in your car on your bicycle whatever you want so sort of super simple so as we saw that really was not hard at all to set up we've got it here in our in our little holder and I want to go test it in the house and there's a way that you can actually use your phone and it's almost like playing that game you did as a kid hot and cold it will somehow point you in the direction of where it's located so we're gonna give that a try in a minute so before we get started on a little scavenger hunt to test this out let me give you some of the specifications so first of all it has what's called precision finding but it's compatible only with iPhone 11 and higher it also has its own speaker so you can actually ping it and hear a tone if you're going around looking for it in your house which makes it a lot easier so they're very big on the privacy aspect that's built into these air tags so what's cool about them and different from the competitors tile is that Apple has built of course their own network on the find my app where you can see the location of your family and friends and also your devices that you um, assign to the find my app on your Apple ID so what happens is it's really cool if your air tag let's say that you lose your backpack or your wallet and has it attached to it the air tag will always be looking for a bluetooth device that's connected to that network on an apple or an iphone or an apple device and when it actually does that it will hop on whoever's walking by 
onto their phone and send the signal through the network through complete strangers' phones, if that makes sense. So again, though, nobody is knowing what's going on. It just happens in the background through the network of the iPhone and that goes along with the Apple device. So really cool knowing how many people across the planet have an iPhone. Surely, if something is lost, it will eventually pick up the signal and send you that location so you can find it. Also, what's cool is that if you put it in lost mode, and then when it actually does pick up that signal by somebody's iPhone, it will actually alert you that it's it's connected to um, that particular network and tell you where the AirTag is located. And there's also a way that a stranger can actually use their phone. Let's say that somebody happens upon your, your wallet or your purse. They can actually hold their phone next to your AirTag and get your contact information because it will store your phone number where they can actually call you if they're honest people, let's hope, and tell you they found your item that's lost. So another cool feature that I think uh, where they can actually get a hold of the person that's lost the item. Super neat. Also, it's got, they say, about a year on a standard battery. It takes a 2032, like, watch battery that you can replace on your own. It only weighs 0.39 ounces, or 11 grams. And they said it's guaranteed up to a, a depth of 1 meter, 30 minutes in water, that it, it will not be damaged. Of course, it's connectivity through Bluetooth. You also need to use the iPad or iPhone iOS 14.5 or later for it to work. And when it gets low on battery, it will actually tell you when it's time to change that. So another cool tool. Okay, so let's try this out. I've, I've hidden my new AirTag somewhere in the house, which I do know where it's at, <laughs> but you don't. So I'm going to show you what the phone looks like as I go through the house and see how well it does at finding the air tag where I've placed it in the house. So let me get my phone recording so we can look at that and I'll place it here on the screen as well. Okay, so we're going into the find my app and we're going to hit on items and you can see on the screen here that it has Troy's backpack. So we're going to click on that and I'm going to change my camera view so we can walk through the house. Okay. So now it's going to have us click this find nearby. Connected signal is weak. Try moving to a different location. Okay. So we're going to kind of go in that direction and see if it picks it up. searching for a signal. So I suppose if it can't find it, you just gotta walk through your house. If you know it's in your house somewhere, which I do, <laughs> it's gonna be upstairs. And see if you get a signal just by walking through your house. So let's see, nothing coming up quite yet. Let's see if it's picking up a signal. Aha, now you can see it says I'm 17 feet, so I guess I need to, oops, move in this direction, okay, 12 feet, I'm getting closer, closer, 4 feet, 2 feet away, now if I hit this little button to make a sound, ah, I hear it. You probably can't hear it on the video. So let's take a look under here. Ah, I found it. Underneath the pillow right where I thought it might be. <laughs> so hopefully you can see how it's going to help you find things 
in your home if you're close enough to the actual Bluetooth signal that it will take you to it that way. Okie doke. That's a, an example of how that works. So hopefully you found this video helpful so you can see what you're getting into when you invest in some of these air tags. Um, I think I'm really going to like these and attach them to certain things within my home or if I go on vacation I think it'd be kind of cool to attach to your luggage. Also I think things like maybe your bicycle, let's say, um, but I would think it would be kind of helpful to actually hide this somewhere so it can't be seen by somebody who might be stealing your, you know, whatever it is that you've got this attached to. So that, you know, they could just take this off and dump it in the trash and you'd never find the thing that you're looking for. So, might be something you want to think about if you're going to put it in a purse or a backpack to put it somewhere where maybe they, they couldn't find it and get rid of it so that you would then never be able to find the actual item that you're looking for. So, pretty cool. Like I said, $29 for one. The four pack was $99 from the Apple Store. Not sure if you can get it anywhere cheaper, but um, really easy to set up. As you saw, nothing really to it. Just take it out of the box, take the tab out, expose the battery to it, and it's off and running. And just attach it to your device, and you've got it all set up. So, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for stopping in today and watching this video. Hope it was very helpful for you. If you got something out of it, please hit that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'd love to have you as a part of the Tech Talk with Troy family. So until the next video, thanks again for watching. Hope you're doing well.